Emily, can I talk to you about something that's been bothering me? Of course, Anna. What's going on? Well, I've been feeling really insecure about my appearance lately. I just don't feel attractive, and it's affecting my confidence a lot. Oh, Anna, I'm sorry to hear that. What specifically is bothering you? I've been thinking that maybe I need to get some plastic surgery. You know, to fix a few things. Plastic surgery? That's a pretty big decision. What makes you feel like you need to go that route? It's just, I look in the mirror and I see so many flaws. My nose feels too big, my cheeks are too puffy, and my chin is kind of weak. I feel like no matter how much makeup I wear or how I style my hair, I just don't look good. I can understand feeling self-conscious. We all have those days. But plastic surgery is a big step. Have you thought about why you feel this way? I think it's a combination of things. Social media makes me feel like I don't measure up to these perfect-looking people. And sometimes, I catch myself comparing my looks to others, even to friends. It's hard not to. Social media can be so toxic that way. Remember, a lot of those images are heavily edited. They're not real life. But I get that it can be hard to ignore. Yeah, I know. But I just feel like if I could change a few things, I'd be happier and more confident. Have you talked to anyone else about this? Like a therapist or a counselor? Sometimes talking to a professional can help sort through these feelings. I haven't, but maybe I should. I just thought I'd bring it up with you first because you're my best friend and I trust your opinion. I'm really glad you did. I want you to be happy and confident, but I also want you to be sure you're making this decision for the right reasons. Sometimes, our insecurities can be worked through without drastic measures. You're right. I guess I just feel stuck right now. I want to feel better about myself, and surgery seems like a quick fix. Quick fixes aren't always the best solutions. How about we start with smaller steps? Maybe a new skincare routine, a different style, or even just focusing on things that make you feel good about yourself. And definitely consider talking to a professional about how you're feeling. Emily, I knew I could count on you to help me see things more clearly. Always, Anna. You're beautiful just the way you are, but if you ever decide that plastic surgery is something you want to explore further, just make sure it's for you and no one else. I'll support you no matter what. I really appreciate it. I'll think about what you said and maybe look into talking to someone about my feelings. There's actually more to it, Emily. Part of why I've been feeling so down is because of something my ideal boyfriend said. He told me I look ugly. What? Are you serious? That's incredibly hurtful, Anna. No one should ever say that to you. I know, but it really got to me. I thought he was perfect, you know? And hearing that from him just made me feel even worse about myself. Anna, that's awful. No one has the right to make you feel that way about yourself. If he can't see how beautiful you are, inside and out, then he's not worth your time. It's just hard, Emily. I really liked him, and I thought he liked me too. But now, all I can think about are the things I need to change to be more attractive. I get that. When someone you care about says something hurtful, it can really sting. But changing yourself for someone else, especially someone who would say something so mean, isn't the answer. I know you're right, but it's hard to shake off. I feel like if I fix the things he pointed out, I'll feel better and maybe even have a chance with him. Anna, anyone who makes you feel like you need to change yourself isn't worth having in your life. The right person will love you for who you are, flaws, and all. I just wish I could see what you see. I look in the mirror and all I see are the things he criticized. 
It's tough to change that perspective, especially after a comment like that. But think about this. If you change yourself to meet someone else's standards, you might end up unhappy with the results and with yourself. I guess I hadn't thought of it that way. I just want to feel good about myself, and right now, I don't. Let's focus on building your confidence in healthy ways. How about we try some new things that make you feel good? A new workout class, a fun hobby, or even just pampering yourself? I've been so focused on the negative that I haven't thought about doing things that make me happy. And remember, talking to a therapist could really help. They can provide tools and strategies to boost your self-esteem and help you see yourself in a more positive light. I need to start thinking about my own happiness and not what some guy thinks. You deserve to be happy and confident just as you are. And if you ever do decide to go down the plastic surgery route, make sure it's for you and no one else. But Emily, I really love him. I can do anything for him. That's why I'm seriously considering plastic surgery. I think if I change my appearance, he'll see me differently and maybe even fall for me. Anna, I understand that you have strong feelings for him, but love should never make you feel like you have to change who you are. The right person will love you for you, not for some altered version of yourself. I know, but it's just so hard to let go of the idea of being with him. He's everything I've ever wanted, and if changing how I look means I have a chance with him, then maybe it's worth it. Love is about accepting and cherishing each other's true selves. If he truly cared for you, he wouldn't want you to change your appearance just to meet his standards. That's not love, Anna. But what if I do change and he finally notices me? What if that's what it takes for him to see me in a new light? If you change yourself for someone else, you might lose sight of who you really are. And even if he does notice you, it's not fair for you to have to alter your looks to gain his affection. You deserve someone who loves you just as you are. I guess I just don't know how to deal with these feelings. I want to be happy and confident, but right now, all I can think about is making him see me differently. It's completely normal to want to be noticed by someone you care about, but true confidence comes from within. No amount of surgery can replace genuine self-love and acceptance. So, what should I do? I don't want to give up on him, but I also don't want to feel this way forever. Take some time for yourself. Focus on activities and goals that make you happy and build your confidence. If he's the right person, he'll come around and appreciate you for who you are. If not, you'll still be happier and more self-assured. It's just hard to imagine moving on or feeling good about myself when I have these feelings for him. I know it's tough, but try to remember your worth isn't determined by his opinion or anyone else's. You have so much to offer just as you are. I really appreciate your support, Emily. It's just going to take some time for me to get past these feelings. And that's okay. Take all the time you need. Just promise me you'll focus on your own happiness and well-being first. I'll try to focus on myself for now, but it's just so hard to shake off these feelings for him. I really thought he was the one. Anna, I need you to hear me out. This guy is not worth you changing who you are. Wake up. My friend, you're incredible just as you are, and anyone who doesn't see that isn't worth your time or effort. But I love him, Emily. I can't just turn off my feelings. What if this is my only chance to be with him? If he can't love and appreciate you for who you are now, then he's not the right person for you. You deserve someone who sees your beauty and worth without you having to change a single thing. It's just so hard to let go. I really thought he was different, that he was special. But someone who makes you feel like you need to get plastic surgery to be attractive isn't special. That's manipulative and cruel. You deserve so much better than that. It's just hard to accept. 
I've been holding on to this idea of him for so long. I understand, but sometimes we need to let go of the wrong people to make room for the right ones. You're amazing, Anna, and you need someone who sees that without any changes. I guess I've been so focused on him that I've lost sight of what I really deserve. It's just hard to see clearly when you're so wrapped up in someone. But you need to put yourself first. Take a step back and think about what you really want and need in a partner. Someone who loves you unconditionally, who supports you, and who never makes you feel like you need to change to be loved. Emily, I need to wake up and see that I deserve better. It's just going to take some time to get over him. Take all the time you need. Just remember, you have people who love and support you just as you are. Focus on yourself and what makes you happy. The right person will come along when you least expect it. Emily, I needed to hear that. I'll try to focus on myself and not let his words affect me so much. You're strong, Anna, and you deserve to be happy and confident in your own skin. Let's plan that spa day and start working on boosting your confidence. You've got this. Emily, I really appreciate your support. I'll try to keep all this in mind and focus on what makes me happy. Anytime, Anna. We're in this together. Now, let's plan that spa day and make sure it's a day all about you and your happiness. That sounds perfect. Thank you, Emily. I feel a bit stronger already. That's what friends are for. Let's start planning and have some fun. You deserve it, Anna.